so we have the full manga chapter of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Big Bang Mission. This is going to be chapter one, uh, which is going to follow episode one. It's going to be some differences, but we always like the manga better than that promotional anime because it gives more context. Now, this is courtesy of DBS Chronicles on Twitter. Link will be in the description just in case you want to go ahead and check him out and read that full manga chapter for yourselves. It's still in Japanese, so he provided an English summary, which is what I'm going by. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts at the end. I've been on a mission to defeat the remaining forces of the Demon Realm. The Supreme Kai of Time contacts Trunks with an urgent matter. As Trunks is distracted, a remaining soldier tries to attack him, but quickly gets stopped by Pan. They get informed that Toki Toki disappeared into another place in space time, but the Supreme Kai knows the location. Trunks wanted to go alone initially, but due to a promise to Pan, she is happy to come along as well. Then they both get sent to the place where Toki Toki went. The Supreme Kai of Time has a bad feeling and wonders if the bird of catastrophe was released. Meanwhile, at Capsa Court, Trunks and Goten discover Toki Toki, and Goku and Vegeta will soon return from a training session. Vegeta gets angry at Trunks because he thinks he just wants to keep the bird as a pet. But Trunks simply explains that the bird suddenly fell from the sky, which Vegeta doesn't really believe. In that moment, Zeno Pan suddenly drops down as well as pushing Vegeta to the ground. Pan recognizes kid's Trunks face and little Trunks just replies, who is she? While Pan tries to introduce herself, Zeno Trunks jumps in by saying, we are time patrol. He also whispers to Pan that we shouldn't meddle with another time dimension by saying her name. But Vegeta figures that Trunks is from another dimension as they met Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta on Prison Planet. All of a sudden, Beerus appears along with the other gods of destruction and they want to destroy this bird. Trunks goes Super Saiyan God and defends Beerus' blast with his sword. Which <laughs> makes me wonder... How can Super Saiyan God Trunks deflect Beerus' blast? But okay, Quetella suggests that Beerus is taking it easy as he likes the Earth. So he attempts to destroy the Earth himself. But Toki Toki then blocks the Hakai power with all of the gods. After Goku's question, Beerus explains that according to the Oracle Fish, a weird bird will appear in Universe 7 to cause a destruction-like catastrophe. Beerus claims his fish won't be wrong, as well as the other gods confirming already sensing the bird for a while. In response to the situation at large, Goku goes Super Saiyan God, and he wants to protect the bird for Trunks. Whis then appears and teleports both of them into outer space, which Goku is grateful for as he's able to fight freely using Super Saiyan Blue. The fight goes on, and once they're fish class, it results in a gigantic explosion. And after Beerus snaps Goku into a rock, he suddenly noticed branches. And then Whis appears, together with Vegeta, Toki Toki, Xeno Trunks, and Xeno Pan. Whis goes on to inform that the other gods of destruction went back to their respective universes to check the situation there. The branches come from a distortion of space-time, and if you touch them badly, it could have a bad influence for the time. Also, Weez goes on and explains that they were hunting the wrong bird, as Toki Toki is referred to as the God Bird, which Beerus seemingly remembers from hearing. Weez laughs at Beerus for trying to destroy that bird, and Beerus wonders which bird he sensed in. As he's thinking this, Fuse appears along with that bird. He thanks everyone for participating in his experiment, and Vegeta calls him a crazy idiot. Toki Toki notices Doki Doki, and both birds starts fighting. Few explains that the bird is important for the outcome of the experiment.
All of a sudden, Pan feels pain while breathing and loses energy. And Few confirms that the influence from the roots is from the last universe seed experiment. The universe seed sprouted through all of the universe as a small tree, which would finally become a galaxy, a galaxy-sized universe tree. Vegeta wonders that the universe seed was supposed to be destroyed along with hearts. With his energy, few will be able to complete his ultimate experiment. Trunks and Vegeta now also feel that they are losing energy. Beerus understands that Few is destroying Universe 7 that way. As the god of Universe 7 himself, he cannot allow that. He creates a key wall to protect Universe 7's energy. Then Few calls Doki Doki back and disappears. Whis heals Goku and the others. Beerus orders them to follow Few while Trunks gets contacted by the Supreme Kai of Time with a new task. And meanwhile, in the hell of Universe 7, the Supreme Kai of Time felt something abnormal there and sent Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta there to check. Then suddenly, a weird guy appears asking them both to join his experiment. <laughs>